One of the most common questions we get here in our office is that I got my PPP via Wampley, but now how do I apply for forgiveness? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hello from Freedom Tax Accounting. We're an accounting firm where we have been providing quality tax and accounting services now for over 20 years. We are recording this video on May 28th, 2021, and we always emphasize the date on any recording we do relating to the PPP program because the PPP program has been constantly changing. So there may be things that we discuss in this video that can change as soon as tomorrow. So that's the importance of subscribing to our channel. That way you're always up to date with the most current and accurate information relating to these SBA loans, okay? Now, we are in May, May 28th, and uh, the PPP program is set to end or the SBA will not accept any new applications starting May 31st but many of you that have received the PPP loan program via Wampley, and most of you got that PPP via Wampley in the beginning of this year, 2021, you already got the funds, and now the most common questions we get in our office is, okay, I got my PPP funds through Wampley, now what do I do to apply for forgiveness? Okay, now there are certain things that you need to know. Wampley is not a bank. Wampley did not give you the P You don't have a PPP loan with Wampley. Wampley is a third-party provider that found you a bank. Okay, so your PPP loan is not with Wampley. Wampley uh, developed a platform to find you a bank to give you the PPP loan. Another important note is that the, you don't apply for forgiveness with the SBA, okay? Even though the PPP program is an SBA program, the PPP is an SBA program that the SBA uh, channeled through banks, okay? So a, there's a bank that gave you the funds, and a lot of people who applied through Wampley don't even know what bank gave them the loan. So how do you find out what bank gave you the loan that you applied through Wampley? So it's very easy. You just have to go and look at your, um, at your note, okay? This is the PPP note that you signed to get the PPP loan approved. Remember, when you apply through Wampley, uh, you, do, you did the application in Wampley, Wampley sent you a DocuSign with the PPP application, you signed it, then the Wampley sent that PPP application to the SBA, the SBA approves it, the SBA sends Wampley a note, which is this document, then Wampley sent you this note for you to sign. So if you got a PPP via Wampley, you had to have had the signed this document called the note. Basically, it's a document that has your SBA loan number. It has the SBA loan number name. Basically, it has your name, the date that the note was given. This is your PPP loan amount. Uh, borrower, it says your name, now lender. Here where it says lender, this is the bank that gave you the PPP funds, okay? So this is very important that if you got a PPP through Wampley, that you take a look at this document so you know what bank gave you the loan. This is an example of one of our clients, but there are a lot of different banks, okay? So you have to take a look at your note and see what lender or what bank gave you the PPP funds. Now, now that you know the bank that gave you the PPP uh, through Wampley, what do you need to do for forgiveness, okay? Well, for most of you, for now, you have to wait, okay? Remember, Wampley started doing this um, PPP application starting this year, okay? And usually, and once again, every bank 
has different PPP forgiveness uh, structures and processes, okay? Now, usually, when a bank gives you a PPP loan, they usually send you a link to apply for forgiveness via email. Now, we still don't know if that forgiveness link is going to come from Womply or if it's going to come from the bank that gave you the PPP. And it's still too early to know why. Usually, and this is based on what happened last year, usually uh, when a bank gives you the PPP loan, they usually don't send you the PPP forgiveness link after 8 to 12 weeks after they've given you the funds. So for most of you for now, you, we have to wait. Now, what are we recommending to our clients that applied for the PPP B1 plea? Okay, now look at the date you got the funds. Okay, if 12 weeks go by, basically three months, if three months go by and you have not received an email from Wampley or from the bank that gave you the PPP loan, then our recommendation is that you start communicating with the bank that gave you the loan, not Wampley. Because if you have seen, Wampley has terrible customer service. You cannot reach anyone over there. So legally, under the SBA, you have a contract and you have a loan with the bank, not with Wampley. So once again, our recommendation is look at the date you got the PPP loan. If you apply through Wampley, if three months go by and you haven't heard anything either from Wampley or the bank, start communicating with the bank that gave you the PPP loan. And once again, how do you know what bank gave you the loan? You need to take a look at the PPP note that you signed to get the SBA PPP loan. And down here it says lender, whatever bank name is here, this is the bank that you will need to start communicating with for PPP forgiveness. Now, for all of you that got the PPP recently, there's no reason to panic for forgiveness. There's a lot of time for you to apply for forgiveness. Remember that once you get the funds, you have 24 weeks of covered period, and then you have an additional 10 months after your 24-week covered period to apply for the PPP forgiveness before the bank starts making you make your monthly payments on your loan. So you have almost 16 months to apply for forgiveness before the bank that gave you the PPP loan starts making you make your monthly payments, okay? So for now, everyone, just wait. And once again, wait three months. If you haven't heard anything back either from Wampley or your bank for the PPP forgiveness, then start reaching out to the bank or a lender that gave you the PPP funds. And they may have different processes. Some banks may send you a link. Some banks may tell you, uh, go to our website. Some banks may even tell you, you have to send uh, everything by mail or you have to go to the bank itself. So for now, we just have to wait, but don't worry because you still have a lot of time to apply for PPP forgiveness, okay? So thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been of value to you and your business. If it has, share it with other business owners and remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and have a good Memorial Day weekend. God bless you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.